What's going on everyone? As you know, Chrono Odyssey released their gameplay reveal trailer recently, showcasing all of their classes in action for us to enjoy and leaving us to wonder what the classes are exactly. Fortunately, we didn't have to wait long to find out as following the trailer on a PlayStation blog post, Samuel Seo, the producer of Chrono Studio at NPixel, posted additional information regarding combat mechanics and what the classes actually are themselves. Regarding the combat, Samuel went on to state that it is a thrilling experience that demands both unpredictability and control. Master the basics of attack, defense, dodge, and switch seamlessly between multiple weapons in real time to gain the upper hand in battle. So all of the classes that we see being shown in the gameplay have more than one weapon at their disposal that they are able to swap between at any time for whatever the situation calls for that you are engaged in. So that's really awesome is going to add at a base level additional depth and mechanics to the gameplay from the get go. And so that's going to keep things a little more interesting right off the bat and more engaging. For these mechanics, Sam goes on to state that there are six distinct classes for us. The Swordsman, Ranger, Sorcerer, Paladin, Berserker, and Assassin. As you embark on your epic journey, don't forget to make your mark with character customization options like gender and appearance. This is huge and really important because it is immediately eliminating the concerns and worry that people had from the gameplay trailer that the classes were going to be gender locked. The fact that right here, the producer is telling us that we're going to be able to select our gender for our classes is going to be really nice and that is something that we don't have to worry about as that is normally something that is very common with eastern titles that the western audience does not like so you can relax and not worry about that but more importantly there's six classes so based on the footage that we have from the trailer let's talk about those six classes and their potential weapon fighting styles that they have at their disposal first up we're going to talk about the swordsman the swordsman looks to be a diverse combatant wielding your typical sword and board bruiser fighter play style that is going to be able to you know trade blows parry block dodge all those standard things and probably be a default tank character for you to play but it's also going to be able to swap into a large cleaving massacring badass great sword that will hopefully deal lots of aoe damage now, there was also the possibility of an agile dual sword style that we see here, but that might just be an assassin in heavier armor. I'm not sure. We'll find out in the future. Next up is going to be the assassin. It looks like it's going to be your typical quick agile fighter wielding dual daggers, trying to carve up the enemies really quickly, throwing in some martial arts kicks, but with a little bit of a twist and seems to be able to swap into a rifle as well for some ranged action and later on it looks like we also see a nodachi for maybe a larger burstier more aoe intensive weapon that is at the disposal for the assassin following assassin we're looking at berserker this is the class i'm personally looking forward to playing and it seems like it's going to be our standard rage behemoth looking to take two axes and absolutely hack away at all the foes around and carve them up but we're also going to have the ability to transition into a great axe that seems to deal massive AOE damage and upheavaling the ground beneath us for large cleaving hits as well. And I have a feeling is going to be a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to it personally. No third potential weapon that was shown. Sorcerer being the next one to portray that as we're going to talk about our classic magic user freezing and blowing things up with the utmost power at its disposal it first showcases a staff which is the classic iconic weapon of a sorcerer but they do also show a tome where the book is levitating in front of the character as they're casting spells and using abilities really nice touch and is something that you don't see used often enough in mmos for caster classes it also looked like there was potentially a healing spec for Sorcerer as during the large raid fight it seemed like one of the mages had light holy magic being casted on the ground around them potentially. Uncertain, but that would make sense if there's no true dedicated healer that the caster would be one of the potential 
off spec healing classes. Following Sorcerer, unfortunately, is Ranger. Rangers, in my opinion, got the short end of the stick when it came to the gameplay reveal trailer. There didn't seem to be really much interesting gameplay for them, mostly being basic attack animations and one charge shot following a sliding evasive maneuver away from the mobs. So looks like they're going to wield a bow. Maybe they're going to have companions and pets at their disposal as well, but I can't imagine that they're only going to be limited to a bow. <laughs> that would be kind of a bummer for them if they didn't have some sort of alternative gameplay for them to swap into. Following the Ranger, we got the Paladin, our glorious Holy Avenger, coming in with an array of gameplay and magic. First, we see the Paladin wielding a flail and shield, it seemed, which then transitioned into a magic spear attack. So it seems like there's going to be a little bit of melee gameplay with magical offensive spells at their disposal. We then later on see Paladin wielding a two-handed spear and imbuing it with, you know, magical light energy. And we also see a big lance and shield format of what is I'm expecting to be the Paladin as well. Paladin may also potentially be another class that has healing potential at its disposal. It would kind of make sense for Paladin. And that would give us two classes with the possibility of having healing abilities, which would have a nice varying array of classes being able to do that. And we'd have a nice spread of all the class archetypes being covered. So those are the six classes that are going to be coming with Chrono Odyssey. Which class are you most looking forward to? Which one looks the most exciting or interesting? Which weapons look the most interesting to you? And which weapons would you maybe like to see if you only saw one or two for your class in the video? Let us know in the comments. And as always, if you enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.